do Trinitarians really believe in one God? Let's find out. Trinitarians believe that the Father is not the Son, and that the Son is not the Holy Spirit, and that the Holy Spirit is not the Father. So if none of the three divine persons are the same, then how can it be one God? There is confusion in the Trinity doctrine and it needs to be exposed. Trinitarians for the longest time have been saying that God is one and they believe that God is one and they even call themselves monotheist. But when you look at history, you see something very different. You see, Trinitarians have a history of persecuting anyone else who does not believe in a Trinity. And the incredible thing about this is that others also proclaim to believe in one God. For example, the Jewish people. For example, the Christians that follow the Bible and believe that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh, but in eternity, He's the Almighty God. But they profess one God. And even Unitarians, when Arian came on the scene, he wasn't saying that there were many gods. He was saying that there was one God. Yet he got persecuted. So then history shows us that Trinitarians claim to be a monotheist and they claim that they believe in only one God. Yet their actions speak louder than their words. In order to teach a trinity, the person that invented the trinity had to come up with three divine persons living in eternity. How did they do this? They started teaching that God's Logos, His Word, was the power or a separate divine person. You see, the truth of the matter is that Trinitarians claim to believe in one God, but they're really lying to everyone. Because when they give the definition of the Trinity, it doesn't spell out one God, but it spells out three divine persons who are co-equal and co-eternal. And even though they said that there's not three gods, this is exactly what they're saying. And you know, this is not the first time or the first doctrine that Catholics and Trinitarians have been saying two things at once. They profess one to, be, to believe in one God, but they say it's three divine persons who are each God. How can that be one God? What they're really saying is that God is a compound unity. That the Trinity is a family of God's divine persons. And so it is one God as unity. One God as a, a family. But really they're not professing one God the way the Bible teaches. In order to teach the Trinity to the multitudes, these Trinitarians had to form councils and creeds, and eventually, united with the Roman Empire, they controlled the religious community and forced everyone to believe in a Trinity. Of course, those who did not accept were persecuted. The Trinity is Greek philosophy. Philo of Alexandria was the first one in the first century to start teaching on a trinity. And uh, he used Greek philosophy. He was into all this uh, mystical stuff and, and many other things. Philo of Alexandria had a vision or a uh, an ex mystical experience where a voice told him that with God there were two other powers. And these powers became persons and beings and creators. Uh, and on and on. Philo wrote all about this and the Antinacian fathers picked up Philo's teachings and they incorporated them to develop the Trinity of Christendom. Now it is important to know this because if how the, the Trinity started tells us that it didn't start as one God. And the many, many creeds that have come about from the Catholic Church they start off simple, but then they get very, very difficult. And I'm going to explain to you the Athanasian Creed, 
which is not really a creed at all. The Athanasian Creed is a forgery. Trinitarians have lied about the Athanasian Creed for centuries. As is this example, they proclaim that it is a wonderful thing, but there was no council or synod that convened together to form this creed. And Athanasius was not the one that wrote this creed, so it is a forgery. Notice how the Athanasian forgery uses scare tactics to make people believe in the Trinity. It says that if someone does not believe in this, he will perish everlasting. They also, in this forgery, tell us that the Godhead of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. When you study the Bible, the Godhead is only one. So as you can see, I have explained how the Athanasian Creed tells us to worship the Trinity in unity and unity in Trinity. It also tells us things about each person, divine person. They are each God, but it's not one God. Together, they form one God. What they're trying to say, it's a union, a compound unity. And if you don't study this, you will not understand. But the best modern theologians have admitted to this, that the Trinity is not one God, person, no, or being, that it is one compound unity. And as James White and others have said, it's easy to follow their videos and find out that this is what they believe. So I pray this video will help you and you can understand that the Trinity is not monotheism and it is not the teaching of one God, but of three divine persons that each one is God and together they form a compound unity.